Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Anika. Today I'm here to create a beautiful card using the Concord and Ninth Hello Lovely stamp set. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know I've painted, stamped, inked, colored this stamp various times. And I'm doing it again, and this time it's for a congratulations for graduation card. So let's get started. What I'm doing first is I'm using, I'm going to put down my sentiment first, which is something new for me. And I'm going to do it particularly because I need to make sure that I don't mess up the sentiment after I do all this work. And I'm using the um, Wide at Home Simple Sentiments. That's the congratulations. But I'm also going to create the word graduate using Alta News Calligraphy Alpha. And this turned out to be a little more challenging than I thought. And I'm going to start out doing fine, but it's going to go lopsided. So for the sake of this video, we're going to keep pressing on. But this card is actually for a friend of mine, one of my good girlfriends. We've been friends for about 20 years, 20 plus years now. And she called me up and she was like, I need a graduation card. And I was like, cool, but I don't have any graduation stuff. So I had to go into my stash and see what I could do. And this is what I came up with. But the letters didn't lay properly or I couldn't make them lay properly. I don't know. But anyway, the D seems to hike everything up. And then I should have pulled the A T E back down a little bit. It looks a little lopsided to me when you look at it in the photos. So I kept, I didn't notice it now, but in the pictures at the end, you do notice it a lot. So I am going to create this card again for her because I want it to be perfect. But for the sake of this video, we're going to keep on keeping on. And so right now I'm drying the sentiment. I used um, VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and I want to make sure that as I'm painting, my hand does not smudge it. Now there's that beautiful Hello Lovely stamp from Concord and Ninth. I mean, that that is an amazing stamp set. And every time I color this thing in, I am like awed at how beautiful it is. So I'm going to get my paints out. And I'm going to use my Mission Goat watercolors. And I'm just going to start painting. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a little music for you guys. But first, let me tell you this. My paintbrush is it's called Simply Simmons, and it's the number four. Sorry, my bracelets are jingling. Um, it's the Sim Simply Simmons number four paintbrush, and you can actually get it from Michaels. And it's like a very inexpensive brush. And what I find is I gravitate to that brush more than anything else. And what I like about it is when I get the ink, it holds a lot of pigment color on your brush right and so when you brush it up when you see right there I'm gonna wipe it off it puts the brush at this point that just makes painting it so much easier and so I really really enjoy painting using this brush and um yeah I want to tell you that because if you like it you should pick one up at Michaels because yeah when you're watercoloring let me just say this too when you're watercoloring um, people say, oh my gosh, Anika, you know, how do you do it? It looks so difficult. One of the things that you want to do for watercoloring, what I've learned in my limited experience, is that you start off with a light wash, and you work from lightest to darkest, as you, as you would with a Copic marker. They tell you that all the time when you watch the videos. The girls are working from lightest to darkest, most of them anyway. And if you want shadow or dimension on your card, on your, on your image, then that's what you do. You put down a light wash of color first, and then you put a second, you let it dry, and then you get a, um, a second coat. And then the, the more water you have on your brush or the more water you, you've mixed into the paint, the lighter the color is going to be. The less water you use, the deeper the color is going to be. So even if it may look like I've used two and three shades of purple, different shades of purple, it's actually just one color that I've lightened using more water or I've darkened using less water. Okay? All right, you guys. I'm going to put on a little bit of music so you can enjoy the rest of this coloring. And I will hit you up 
when it's over. Hey guys I'm back and I'm just drying my card real quick just to make sure all that ink is dry and I can continue to work on my card I'm going to cut it out using a square stitch border die I'm gonna use my Gemini junior um, I love my Gemini junior it is no crank it is um, fits on my desk it's just amazing once I cut it out I'm going to start with my card base I'm going to use 110 pound cardstock and uh, from my collections and I'm going to go ahead and cut that out I'm going to um, score it using my EK uh, mini scoreboard and because I am terrible at making card bases I'm going to have to cut it out again trim the bottom off real quick there I go and now I am adding some jewels some final touches to my card these jewels are from pretty pink posh um, and I'm just gonna uh, use my um, what is the name of the glue the nouveau adhesive that's in that little tube over to the left the right of the screen and um, it just isn't a fine tip bottle which is awesome it's one of the few that I found that actually worked for me and then I'm using my Marvy jewel picker to pick up the jewels and um, because it's brand new it's really super sticky but as you use it it will become less sticky and the um, jewels will actually stay put where you put them so that's also a great tool to have and just a little more jewels and you've come to the end of my video so thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notifications button so you'll know every time I post a video. And I will see you guys real soon. You have a great day. Bye.